Oh, yay, whoopee, we got it off. Okay, that's off. And uh, let me just say that uh, this was intended to stay on for close to 50 years, and it almost made it. And now, um, what we want to do is we have this we have a template. This template comes with the, with the kit. The idea is to cut this out and to... Uh, uh, for placement of the new neutral safety backup light switch, uh, as I've done here. And we're going to take that and we're going to fit it over the uh, the uh, inside of the new one, line it up at the at the top, center it, and this will provide you then with the location for the holes so that when you take your and mount your neutral safety switch, it's gonna, you know, the holes are gonna be in the in the right spot. And if you notice on this one, this is a power glide shifter body. You see the hole down here and over here for the original power glide uh, switch. You can see that this is gonna move those holes. So that if you do, if you do have to remove the bottom of the shifter, if there's if you have a clearance issue, then the whole your switch is gonna be up here. It's not gonna be a problem. Uh, much as uh, this is a Nova shifter, and later on GM cut the bottoms off, like you're like you're seeing here. Okay, so now we're going to begin the reassembly of the of the shifter, and we're going to start with the uh, with the shaft, which uh, which has actually has two different ends. The diameter is um, on this end is. Uh, the larger end is for the handle, and it's been uh, cut down a bit on this end for the Shiftworks uh, offset arm. You're going to get a couple offset arms in your kit. You can determine which one best fits your situation, depending on your what you're doing. Uh, the original ones were all welded on, as you can you can see, peened and welded, and the uh, uh, didn't offer a lot of uh, flexibility usually people had to bend them they're also longer and we don't have seem it seems that having them just a little bit shorter is uh, more forgiving in terms of space in the uh, in the uh, uh, transmission tunnel area so uh, so that's why we, we have them like this so the first thing is to put the uh, the larger diameter end in the vise select your uh, arm and uh, secure it with the uh, with the lock nut. Once once you have that done, then you take uh, then you're gonna have to take and put it like this in the vise. And and you have to do it this way because the Camaro body. If you try to do it any other way, the Camaro body gets in the way. So you have to do it this you have to do it this way. And then what you will do is you're gonna take the um, uh, the spring washer that comes that comes with your uh, with your kit. It's a little uh, spring washer that goes on first, and the, it's curved, and it provides a little tension in there, so you don't when you tighten up the uh, handle, it doesn't freeze, and it allows it to move. So this goes on this goes on first, and I like to uh, uh, have the curve pointing up. Then you're going to use one of these uh, large diameter washers. You're going to put over it. Then you put on one of our uh, new uh, bearings made out of Delrin, and you'll see that uh, most of the old most of the old bearings we find in the sh the old shifters, uh, you know, they look like this after 50 years, and uh, it's just I think it'd be normal wear and tear. Um, so we provide new ones. Then you're going to take your shifter body. And you're gonna uh, slide it over that and into the uh, into the bushing. Then we take the next uh, the next bushing, put that in. It kind of tightens it up a little. And then we're gonna uh, put on this uh, this washer, second washer. Then we put the handle on. The handle on goes the handle goes on like this. Uh, the tang will uh, hit the uh, shift gate when we install that. Next, you're going to uh, put on this uh, ac uh, uh, actuator. It's a little device that moves the uh, uh, neutral safety switch uh, cam. 
You put that on like that, so it's going to go this way. Then we take the lock nut, put the lock nut on. Screw it on. It's a half inch, half inch lock nut, and we're going to tighten it up. Snug it up pretty good. Take it out of the uh, vise, and it should it should be tight, you know, no, uh, it, but it should move uh, uh, freely, and then you know you've, you've you've done it, you've done it right. If it's if you can't move it, something's something's wrong, and it's time to start over. Okay. Next, we will put on the uh, shift gate uh, detent. This is park is the you know the spot right there, and that will go in the forward position. The handle curving towards towards the driver, so park will be all the way forward. And when we've drilled we've drilled the holes already for this, we were able to use one of the holes for the uh, that we removed the spot weld. We had to drill a new hole in the front. And uh, what we the goal is to uh, to have the tang engage the the shift gate number one. And to center the shift gate in the in the body of the shifter, and it's it's when you when you uh, center it, it's well you'll center it. It's about an eighth of an inch from each end. So we'll go and uh, tighten that up, and uh, and then from there we will uh, do the uh, uh, neutral safety switch adjustment. So I have installed these screws. I've centered centered them on the uh, uh, on the switch to start. And we're going to hook up uh, our little setup we have here. The purple wires are for the neutral safety. And so they should light up in park and neutral. And so you can start your car. The switch acts as an interrupt between the, uh, between the two. And the uh, pink and green wires are actually the uh, backup lights. And, of course, you only want that to light up. Uh, in reverse. So we've got we're hooking up the power now. So now we've got it all hooked up and we're going to turn our power source on. And you can see uh, I think you can see one of the lights already lit up and that's because the shifters well the shifters in neutral we don't know if it's maybe we set it up right off the bat. So we're gonna pull it into drive and the light goes off. The light goes the light doesn't go on Take, take it right in the middle like it's neutral. And you got reverse. Oh, that was there, that's reverse. That's not coming on the right spot. So we have to now we have to adjust the switch. So the first light to go on is neutral and then backup. So we want number two light to go on when we're in reverse over here, but not not over here. So we're going to move the sweet loosen the screws. Adjust the switch a little bit. There, number two is out. Number one is on. There. So one's on. Off. On. We're going to reverse. Number two's on. number two's on. Neutral one. Reverse and then park one. So park. Reverse, neutral, off. So our switch is adjusted. So now we just tighten these screws a little more. So because we don't want to ever have to do this again. Tighten it. Turn, turn it. Remove this, the power. You're ready to wire up your switch and your shifter. Is all all done. All rebuilt and set up for uh, Turbo 350, Turbo 400, or your or any overdrive transmission.